Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com if you haven't already click that button and subscribe to our channel on the menu today I'm going to make some fantastic Jamaican style pork in this mixing bowl I've got a touch of oil I mean just a small amount of corn oil but you can use any oil you like and as you can see I'm popping in some nice freshly ground black pepper here we go with our pork I've got some shoulder steaks so there's no bone in there and I've kind of chopped them up in you know they're fairly large pieces you know so in they go with that pepper and that little touch of oil we're gonna get some salt in there we're gonna get a little touch of turmeric like a teaspoon scotch bonnet pepper I've got fresh today so I'm just gonna put I've just cut it in half and put them in like that if you chop them up small which you can do they're really difficult to get out and these guys are fire they're really really hot so be very careful if you wanted to by the way if you don't have them you can use like a hot pepper sauce which is I think easier for a lot of people to buy here we go now with some allspice or pimento you know, like a teaspoon of that I've then got here a nice teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste which is a 50-50 mix of freshly ground uh, ginger and garlic and I've got some thyme I'm quite lucky to have some fresh thyme if you don't then uh, you can just use some dried so a bit of that in there I'm going to finish that off with some onion chopped fairly small and simply we're going to give this a little mix around now ideally you want to cover this and refrigerate it overnight but at least for two hours you need to get it away for at least two hours but overnight would be fantastic frankly if you wanted to cook this immediately you can of course but a couple of hours covered in your refrigerator will really kind of set it off and get it moving that's it so cling film or shrink wrap plastic wrap whatever you call it on there refrigerator I'll see you when you're ready okay here we go I've got my pan on here which is warming up nicely here's my meat mixture that we've done and we're gonna pop this in there's no oil or anything in this pan we've got a little bit of oil in there we don't need too much oil so in she goes So you've done all the hard work now we're simply going to fry this around probably before about six minutes on a kind of medium to high heat no not too high probably medium and just throw it around in the pan stirring it occasionally we don't want loads of oil in there like I say we put that little tad in at the beginning when we've done the marination now you can watch out for these guys you can fish them out later on which is quite common with lots of Jamaican food because like I say, if you're not familiar with a Scotch bonnet, you soon will be if you bite into that. They're ferocious, really. So, that's it. We're going to fry this around, get it cooked, and then simply near the end, we're just going to put a little bit of coconut milk in. Not too much. Again, we don't want this to be like a big soup or like a curry, really. It's going to be fairly dry, so keep your eye on it. I'll be back in about six or seven minutes or so. Here we are then, so our pork is completely cooked now and smells amazing, I have to say. At this stage, we're going to now drop in a little bit of coconut milk. I mean a little bit. That's surely enough, yeah. So like a quarter of a cup or something. Check this for salt. It's fine for me, I know. Now what we want to do is we want to cook this for a further four to five minutes. And just slightly reduce that coconut milk. Now I've just used coconut milk from a can, but of course you can use fresh if you want. 
that'll be great or creamed coconut which kind of comes in a block you know you get a kind of different different brands there's a Dunn's River and a Walker's Wood and stuff like that you can find it usually in many supermarkets and then that is going to be done so just cook it for a few more minutes I'll be back then okay off goes the heat that is absolutely divine I love this dish that's it guys I hope you enjoy it this has been really good I'm gonna eat mine actually with some roti but it's gonna be really nice with some plain rice maybe also and some salad don't forget to subscribe to our channel hope you enjoy it we'll see you again soon take care bye bye